Yeah. Come play with me. Zygex. Blanket. Yes, I will go first, please. Thank you. Mutavault Island with Curse Catcher and Seas. Spell Pierce and a Lord. Yeah, this is pretty good. We'll keep this. So turn one island curse catcher. Oh good. I'm glad that's all it took to make your life. And I'm glad you're here so that I could make your life. Now I mean my uh push pin. Not push pin. Um Safety pen. Serum visions on steam vents. So Delver or Twin, probably. Maybe Grixis, maybe just all in. Instep pen? What about it? Am I missing something? <laughs> all right. Um, so I feel like I want a Mutavault Spreading Seas here since I don't have double blue for the Lord. He doesn't want to play with red, right? I mean, that's why he's definitely not playing any, you know, mountains or steam vents or anything. Oh, I get it! <laughs> I have my instep pin. It's not going to hold my blanket together, though. Pyromancer's Ascension. Ooh, we're playing Storm. I don't want that to resolve. But it's an enchantment, so I can't do anything about it. Dang, Curse Cutter. He should just be able to counter anything. <sighs> He's slacking. Okay. So we drew Cavern of Souls off of the Spreading Seas. That's helpful. Alright, so I do have double blue. I can play a Lord. Or I could Spreading Seas his red again. Which does hurt Storm. So I think that's the plan. And we're gonna... Nope, chosen creature type. So I will not be able to hold up Spell Pierce. Hi, Bart Fargo! I totally just almost read your name as Fart Bargo. <laughs> yeah, because I'm an adult. I can't... Well, I already Cavern of Souls, so whoops. <laughs> You're right, if I'd thought that all the way forward, I would uh, not have played the Cavern of Souls yet. We didn't get it, so we would have played the Souls anyway. So all is right with the world. And we might as well attack. Your turn. Yeah, so uh, many of you know I was at the side events for GP CTAC uh, this past weekend, or that's why I was out of town and wasn't streaming all last week. So I figure I could do a recap after a couple of games. I ended up, I did not play any Merfolk at the Grand Prix. All of their modern events were later in the evening, and that's not good. I mean, it's cast, so it doesn't matter now. Anyway, so yeah, all the merfolk, all, all the modern events 
started at 1.30 or 4.30. And a five hour event from 1.30 takes me to what, 6.30? I know, but I was tired after doing other stuff. And I really had fun meeting the artist and I played the Saturday morning sealed special which was really fun. I got the best kick assist deck. It was great. Okay. So I could Lord and Phantasmal Image. The Lord, since he did not play another land. He is mono blue right now. I think that's gonna be good enough. So Yep, that's what I was doing. You called it. I tweeted a picture with my deck, like, laid out, but I don't think I ever posted the deck list for my sealed event. But I got three Herald of Kozilekt in my sealed pool. It's an uncommon. I got three of him. And that's, for those of you who don't know, it's... Um, Colorless creature or er, colorless spells you cast cost one less to to cast. It was fantastic. I had two colored spells in my entire deck because I was red blue, but uh, devoid and everything. But I ran. Um, anticipate. And a one and a blue card. All right, so you can pay for Curse Catcher right now. So he's gonna get six red. I'm just gonna have to try to counter him when I have a chance. What? I want to recast it. Okay, I don't know what that... Oh, it's a new one! Gosh. Yeah, I know. Fizzle, please fizzle. And I have to hit F2 this whole time because just in case he's down to one mana at any point. Oh boy. So there's his flashback. So with that one, if he ca casts the, or if he has the original spell resolve first, that's then in the graveyard when the second one resolves, right? Hmm. And this is how the storm deck do. <laughs> oh boy. Oh bother. Look at this. 14 red mana. Off of a single blue red pain land.
Sorry, I got distracted reading the chat. This is ridiculous. Yep, another ritual. So now he's at 22 mana. And a grape shot. So there it is. You sure Kurt's Cutcher was going to be useless? I mean, now that Grape Shot was played, yes. Yeah, we're going to play the main event at Pittsburgh, the modern. Is that enough? Oh, yeah, another one in hand. All right. Evil Potato! Thank you for following me! <laughs> and there's all the grape shots. Okay. Well, that sucks. Alright, so against Storm, we have to counter things. Affinity! Oh, evil blasphemous devil child. Huh. Oh, Lone Pox is cool. Yeah, okay. So I need a sideboard. Um, We're not going to get to enough lands for that. We need Spell Pierce. Actually, I do not want Snag. He's not doing the creature thing, so that's not going to help. We want Swan Song. Does Chalice stop? Chalice would stop a bunch of stuff. A lot of their stuff is one, but a lot of it's also two. That's okay, Bart Fargo. Yeah, but do I want Chalice on one or two or both? And... And if that's the case, I definitely want Vile and Cavern stuff in here. Um, Waves is probably too slow. Although he's running blue. So I don't need Spreading Seas. And I don't really probably need Island Walk. I think I might bring Tidebinder Mage in just for threat density. Kusia Carmella. Caramella? Thank you for following me. I'm sure I butchered that. <laughs> Alright, I'm four cards short right now. So I'll bring Master back in. Tidebinder just because I need... The... Spreading Seed at least cantrips. I don't know... Alright, I'll try this out. Yeah, Cavern of Souls and Vile are the reason that I can successfully play Chalice. That's also the reason I only run two of them. Because if I get Chalice and then don't get anything to protect myself, I'm really hurting. Alright, so I got Oboro, Vile, and Island. I actually haven't played a Vile yet today. A Spreading Seas, which I kept two in for Cantribing, but I regret that. 
I mean, I guess it keeps them off red a little bit. It did work last time, but... And Masters, this is actually really slow hand. I don't think I can keep this. S also slow with no interaction. Now all I've got is a curse catcher and no lands. Dang it. Shit. Ugh! I can't keep that either. This one I will keep. Thank you for following, Zycreon! Ugh. Well, now I'm gonna need threats and stuff, so that can go to the bottom. I just mulligan to three! They mulligan to six, though, that helps. Island, go. Right? <laughs> Island, Island, Chalice, I think, is better than any other hand that we've had. Which is kind of sad. Um, uh, Chalice on two would be good in theory, but I'm definitely um, not waiting for that. It doesn't happen very often, Zycreon? What do people say? Not always, Zeker. But enjoy that Seer and Visions is the only one you get. <laughs> Alright, Cower of Souls. That's cool. That's actually great because we're playing Chalice. Okay. Eridanus! Or Eridanite something. Thank you! <laughs> Yes, but it was a single Serum Vision, so that's okay with me. Now I can pass the turn. Hi, Super George! Master of Waves. All right. Uh, pass the turn. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I've butchered some names pretty badly in my time, though. Ooh, well, that's kind of good, I guess. <sighs> Enough to play Master of Waves. This is surprisingly working. Not yet. I have not seen it yet. I'll have to go check that out. And a token. And and see, they couldn't counter it. I think they that pause was them trying to counter it. And they can't kill it with any of their red stuff. Hmm. So is the holiday gift box this year, is it Zendikar? The holiday box is really a product for you know, grandmas who don't know what to get their kids who they know are interested in magic and that kind of stuff. Which I I think is really cool. And it's it's marketed that way. Aha, see look, I can play this through the chalice. Uh-huh. Can't be countered. Yeah? Oh yeah. Woo! -hoo! <laughs> Cavernous Souls is so sick. I love it. Attack! I mean, this will get us there slowly. Your turn. Hi there, land shit! Um, bye, MTG prowess. See you later. 
Yeah, what I was saying earlier, um, there aren't full art lands because they want it to be available for, they don't want all of the, like, crazy nerds and stuff to go buy them just for the lands. They want, you know, grandmas and parents to be able to go pick them up. Um, I have been married for almost three years now. Uh, it'll be three years in January. I got another chalice. I could do chalice on two. <laughs> oh, I feel so evil right now. <laughs> chalice on one, chalice on two. <laughs> I'm calling me crazy nerds. You know how many fat packs we've bought? We found five fat packs at a Target for $42. Uh, I bought all of them. The looks I was getting from the other people who, like the people who worked at Target, was ridiculous. Alright, so... It doesn't matter if it, he has to pay less if the converted mana cost is one or two, it counters it, right? So, I don't want to attack with the Master of Waves, probably just the Elemental. Well, to be fair, we bought five fat packs, but we left one of them sealed because someone at Carrick's work, they were doing a, they're doing a sealed leak with fat packs. They do it every time. Um, and someone wasn't able to find one, so they weren't able to join the sealed leak. So we saved it and sold it to him at cost. Anger of the gods! Top deck! And pro red! Yeah! Whew. Sweet. Alright. And we got spreading seas, so... Might as well. We need the card. Hit a steam vents. Ah, shit! Sorry. That I totally walked into. That one I walked into. Yep. Yep. And this is how I learn how to play with Chalice and not to be stupid. I had to land. Is Little Master of Waves over here gonna be the end all of this game? Loblolly? What's that mean? Uh, no, the master is not unblockable. Um, he would be theoretically unblockable if I had Island Walk, because they did have Island, but I didn't have an Island Walk Lord on the field. I know! And they are filling their graveyard. This is very nerve-wracking. So the copy so he gets the copies of Grape Shot. Oh I like Lob Lolly. I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> okay. I got a mute vault. I'll play it so that next time I can attack with it for lethal. Two turn clock! And I definitely just played into a chalice. That sucked. But that's okay. It was not... I wasn't going to be able to use it anyway. I couldn't have cast it carefully. Okay, and I can't cast this one either. But... 
This can become a creature. Man, that double trellis is beautiful. Sweet. All right. Yeah, I think he might have just been doing it out of spite. But it was pretty funny, not going to lie. All right, so spreading seas out. I do not want it in my deck. I'm actually going to bring Tidebinder Mage in just so I have more threats. I know, right? We mulled the three that game. Oh, my God. That was pretty sweet, not going to lie. Okay, so I mulled the three and beat them. I had no, I did no, I did not think I was going to be able to win when I mulled to four and then to three. <laughs> Hi, Waldo, where am I? That's who was saying la lolly. Sorry. Hey. <sighs> All right. Last game. Here we go. The, I mean, I'd be okay to do that again. Double chalice, just lock them down. Chalice and a swan song, not great, but okay. Um, Muta Vault, double island. Yeah, we'll keep this. <laughs> Serum Visions. Hmm. Ha ha ha, so fancy. And go. I'm not sure if I should chalice on one or chalice on two. Hey! I asked the question as Carrick's qu answer came popping up. So chalice on two is actually better because of Grape Shot and a lot of their, like, Goblin Electromancer, I think is what, that's what that was. All of their cards that are going to do the damage are two drops. I think. I like Loblolly. I think it's great. Loblolly is a really great way to laugh. <laughs> Loblolly. Loblolly. Raid! Oh no! Hi Undead Joker and everybody else! Ah, TCC Raid! Ah, oh, hi! Thank you everyone from T Learning Community College! Thank you! <laughs> Y'all just missed it? I won a game where I mulled the three against Storm. Alrighty, so, oh dang, two swan songs? I drew both of my swan songs. I'm about to. Well, no, I shouldn't chalice on one then. Undead Joker 4, thank you! Or, jo I guess the four is the. Undead Joker, thanks! <laughs> Alright. Focus on the game. Don't run out of time. Burton Cheaty Face. Thank you for following. All right, and I didn't do that because I want to play Chalice on four or on two, like paying four for it. Kamikaze Han Solo. Thank you for following. Ah, oh, hi everyone. <laughs> Save me, bunny. It's cute because I've got a bunny and he's trying to run his. Okay. Yeah. me and KVS 2370 thank you for following me how's the professor do tonight the skeleton thank you for following is that like triskelion and skeleton because that's awesome by the way that's a pretty great name sleight of hand trail mix 624 thank you Chaos, 5896. Thank you. Hi there, snow-covered planeswalkers. I mean, hi to everybody, but fellow merfolk player. Noxius Cadis. Thank you for following. Uh-oh, Bolt. Um, Adam West, 312. Thank you. I guess that happens. Tonight? Mm, I don't know if I have the cards. Finduces, thank you for following. Ah! 
Hi, TCC student. Thank you for following me. Uh, okay, I cannot play anything. I will play Tie Binder. But then I don't get Swan Song. Uh, Snow Covered Planeswalker. Thank you for following. Cri Crikey or Cricky? Thank you for following. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Waldo. <laughs> Shadow Nash, thank you for following me. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much, Save Me Bunny. Oh my god! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh! Thank you. Thank you for following Dylan Sun eighty eight. <laughs> I did not draw a land. Problematic. That guy two oh four. Thank you. Or do I hold this up for storm?